Welcome to Copic in the Craft Room. It's Michelle Houghton here, and today we are coloring up this very fun little elf who has crashed out. My assumption is it is the day after Christmas. So he is beyond exhausted. This is a very fun image by a digital artist that I've just started using. You may have seen some of the stamps I used at Halloween time, and those are from her. It's Maria Medell. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I will have her information underneath the video so you can find her. She has an Etsy shop um, with a bunch of fun digital stamps. If you are a follower on Instagram, she does all sorts of fun specials, so it's worth making sure you check into that if you are an Instagrammer. But I am going to color him up um, with our Christmas colors because he's. I think he's done with Christmas and he's taken a snooze before he has to get ready and going for the next year. So I will zoom in just a touch closer and we will speed up so we can get this guy colored up. Very simple today, pretty basic color combination. So I'm going to start with a G20, starting with my lightest color first as usual and filling in all the areas that I think are going to be that green. This is a really light green and Obviously I'm going at a really fast pace here because I've sped the video up by about four times, but um, this coloring actually did not take very long. The entire video um, length was about 30 minutes total. So really for a stamp this size, that's actually pretty, pretty good. Um, it's, I think it was actually 24 minutes and something. So I'm just doing um, G21 next thinking of the light coming from the top, pretty simple light source, rounding that shape. So he looks a little bit more round, three dimensional. So the shading's coming from the bottom side up. Notice some of those lines are curved. Um, so it's not just going across, flat across this middle. It's not a straight line that comes down and across. There's some curve or a crescent shape around his tummy. Um, it kind of bows out the other way on his hat. We've got G24 laid down and now G28 is the last color. Now I'm using this one very limited because it's a pretty dark, powerful color. Um, so I don't need very much of it, just tiny, tiny bits into those little corners. G24 to come blend that back in, soften that up. And then I'm going to come back in with the G21 next. I'm going to pull those colors even further. So get that G24 finished. And G21 is next. Notice as I do this, sometimes the darker area gets larger. I'm pulling that a little bit further. I can always add more shadow. It's hard to add more highlights. So I definitely start big with my highlight and add small amounts of all those mid-tones and shadows. And then as I blend the colors back together, I pull those shadows out further to add more um, dimension to the, the shape and figure. So next I'm gonna hit the areas that I think are probably gonna be red. This is an R24 that I started with. Notice I did not go to the edges. R29 is next, and because, because they're small edges, at this point I am gonna fill most of that in. Think I think I get all of it. It's R29 and then R59, small amounts again. This is a really powerful color. R29, smoothing that out. R24, and I have forgotten one little spot on his elbow, so I'll come back and get that in a second. But there's the R24. The G20, I'm pushing back. I had two little dots of red that kind of creeped over into the green. I'm adding a cast shadow with my R59. And then G24 to clean that up again. R29 on that little elbow. Caught that in the nick of time. Then I decided to do the little cuffs of his boots red as well. Just to, he needs a little something something down there. Give him a little more red. R24 and R29 again. Then Y21 is going to hit all the spots that are probably gold. So he's got some jingle bells and buckles. Y28 to add that darker gold color. And then I'm going to hit his hair with Y21. Add a little few flicks of E35 and just a few, fewer still, of that E25 for the darkest shade. Smooth it out going all the way back to E2 or the Y21. 
Then I'm going to get his boots. I've got a C9 that I'm going to start with. These are black boots. I come about halfway up. And then I'm going to leave a stripe of white. And I'm going to hit a tiny little narrow strip down the top part. Now I'm going to use a C1 against that lower portion, kind of the bottom part, so it softens that edge up. So now I've got a kind of crisp white highlight at the top and a soft fade into black on the bottom of that highlight. Cleaned it up just a touch with my colorless blender. And then I'm going to move on to the face. I forgot the eyebrows though, so I'm going to touch those real quick with E35. And then I'm starting on the skin with E50. A lot of times I'll start with the skin, but because this image was so simple, I just I wasn't super concerned about messing up on the face. So I figured do this out of order. Wanted to get all that red and green done. This is an E21 that's starting my shadows. So I've kind of got a unique group of colors going. E50, E21, and then this is an E33. Smoothing it out with E21, pulling that out further, just like I was talking about before, a little shadow to the underside of his nose. And E50 to smooth that out. A little bit darker in the center of the ear. Then I decide he needs some cheeks. R21, just to rosy those up. And I'm going to add some shadows with BV20. This is one of my favorite skin color shadows, and shadows really in a lot of different places, but I really just color that right in on top and I add a little bit of that cast shadow underneath my little sleeping elf and I'm pretty much there. If you have not had a chance, please follow our channel so you can get an inbox message every week as I put new things up and come check me out over on Facebook as well, Copic in the Craft Room, or follow my blog at scrapweaver.com. You can find all of my Copic inspiration at those spots and find out about all the new upcomings in the 2018 year. Thank you for joining me. Have a happy, colorful week.